Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jamie and this is Taco J. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you five Docker containers that you should be using right now in your home lab. So starting off at number one, the most used Docker container in my list is Uptime Cuma. Now, this is the most useful tool in a home lab. If you host your own services like a website, a game server, or anything else you want to keep a track of, if you need to know when it goes down or when it goes back online. I also have it set up to send me Discord notifications, because I have a Discord account, and I also have it set up so it sends me an email every time a service goes offline and online. It is very useful, especially when I'm outside the house and I get pinged when my website goes down or for some reason winners updates probably the next docker container is heimdall and this is also a tool that might become useful in your home lab setup and what heimdall is is a simple dashboard that you can import all of your services so you have direct links to those services without having to type out the url every single time or go from a bookmark now the third docker container in this list is speed test and it's very useful if you want to keep track of your upload and download speed and also your ping of your internet connection every hour now i've noticed sudden drops in the evenings when i've been using my internet and that's probably because i'm on a shared residential connection and you know most people are on in the night but it's also nice to see what time it usually slows down now i've got 80 down 20 up in megabits um, I haven't got gigabit or anything, so... Now the fourth docker container that I sometimes use, and it's also a nice failsafe if I don't have access to my home through VPN, is Guacamole. And Guacamole is very useful if you want to RDP, SSH, I think VNC as well, into your network. It's basically a web-based RDP gateway, and it is pretty much the most awesome software I've ever added to my docker list and that's why I'm showing you in this video. So if you're on a device that doesn't allow you to use the RDP protocol you can simply open up a web browser, go to your a link that you've set up or port forwarded or log in via VPN and you can RDP, VNC, SSH into the servers that you've set up and control them remotely. So with these docker containers you probably find it hard to keep them updated. Now with this next tool called Watchtower it does all the hard work for you. Watchtower keeps all of your docker containers updated by pulling the latest image from docker hub, stopping the container, replacing the image and starting up with all the environment variables that you've set without changing anything. This Docker container checks once or twice a day and it connects directly to the back end of Docker. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I hope this video has helped you plan or make changes to your home lab. And I'll see you in the next one.